Hi, it's Pekka from Rockbullet and welcome to Rockbullet Workshop. During this video I assemble one Rockbullet Mini Forest Forwarder from start to test drive. Rockbullet is Mini Forest Forwarder. You can drive with her to forest, take with her crane stuff over to the road area and then drive next to the road. Or if you have to take something to forest or some other rough terrain, you can take, drive with her with the load over there and use the crane. She's multi-purpose tool for off-road use. I always start up the assembly in the same way. I lift down the frames from the shelf, those are powder painted steel structures and I mount the bookies under. Lockwood has four bookies, those are the same bookies and also eight wheels. She's super nice to drive in the forest because the bookies are softening your road. It's like nice to sit over there when the like wheels are living under and you are like sitting over there in the nice position. After I have uh, bookies and the wheels under, rock bullet is already like one unit. You can push her around to the nicer areas. In the next step, I mount over here hydraulic hoses for the drive system. Rock bullet is uh, hydraulic driven, so there is hydraulic fluid is going around from the pump to the drive motors, which then uh, take the wheels to spin. That is simple, that is nice and modern way how to make the drive system. The thing is that I need to have huge amount of the hydraulic hoses over there, so first thing I mount those hoses. You might notice that even there is no computers in the lock bullet, see super simple machine. I used the computer over there when I assemble, I take the hose, I look for the number, and after that I look from the computer where that hose belongs and then I mount the hose. In the assembly I always like first I place the roughly the hoses to the correct spot and then I like squeeze those to tighten those to final uh, position because if at that moment I forget to tighten one nut over there then I will have fluid in the shop floor. Of course I would notice that in the test drive. I am not delivering machines to customers which are leaking. In the next step I mount the crane over the machine. At that moment Lockbullet start to look like a real mini forwarder. There is frames, wheels, crane and also this uh, cabin area. I get the grain in that condition for my supplier. So there is grain, hoses and the valve. I assemble one machine per time. But usually I make sub-assemblies for two machines. I also weld once two machines. Then I take two machines to powder painting. I lift one frame to the shelf and other shelf I can assemble straight away. Before final assembly I make uh, sub-assemblies, for example boogies, tanks and cupota diesel engine with hydraulic pumps. I take the cupota diesel engine, really nice engine with four cylinders, I mount behind the pump bell housing, then I have the pumps, then it's nice package to drop down over the machine. Rock bullet is hydrostatic driven. That is really nice system. You and how you operate the machine, you have joystick. When you push the joystick forward, machine moves forward. When you take the joystick backward, machine moves backward, and when you turn, machine is turning. She's a frame steward, nice first machine. So in this moment, because now we have the pump, we are mounting the joystick. Then there goes hoses to the pump, which tells the pump what to do when you push the lever. I don't use, uh, for the electrical wires, I don't use sets. I make those wires per machine. I look from the computer, I look the length and the wire type. Then I just take the wire, crimp the uh, connectors over there and then place those and then like have this protector. We have those to the machine and after all the wires 
Rockbullet has electrical system working. The electrical system in Rockbullet is super simple. No computers, nothing over there. Because I don't want to use computers if there is no need to have computer. She is made for the forest use, very rough uh, off-road use. It's nicer to have simple machine in that kind of conditions. You don't want to have any too complex stuff. You don't just want to have simple machine. Now, after I have a system and we are mounting the orange look bullet, side panels over here, she really start to look like a nice machine. And also hood. So now we have like front and frame and everything. She looks really nice at that moment already. Lock bullet doesn't have a frame lock. We are using outrigger legs. That is nice because uh, when when you are using the crane, with it, it's a, she's a light machine. So with outrigger legs, when you are using the crane, your front section where you are sitting stays at position. It, you don't have to shake with the crane all the time around. With, with bigger machines, frame lock is nice, but with a small lightweight machine, support legs are way nicer. Uh, lock bullet has, of course, working lights. Because the idea is that usually when people, at least in Finland, people go at the daytime, people go with a chainsaw to forest, and then when it's too dark for the chainsaw, you can go with lock bullet to forest and take the locks away, so you have longer working days in that way. Otherwise we have super short working days over here in Finland, in the darkness. Lock bullet uh, load area components, those are hot galvanized, so sink. That nice thing is with that is that even like you little drop the locks over there and other stuff, those don't rust down. That is better, more lasting than paint. Next we just have to have the hydraulic fluids. A lock bullet has 40 liters of hydraulic fluid inside. About 10 liters is in the system and 30 liters is in the tank having little rest between circulations. Now it's a nice moment. After all of this hard work, we are just waiting to have a little smoke from the machine. Now let's, let's wait. Let, does it start? Does it start? Yes, she did. She's running. And now it's the first test run, little moving around. And also I have to take up the crane because I have to mount also the grapple over there. It's easier when the machine is now moving around, you have to grapple, so now we are like almost done. We just have to mount the grapple on, take her outside and have a little test drum. So that was how we are assembling rock bullets. I hope you did like the video. If you did like the video, please give a thumb. Thumb up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Logbullet's YouTube channel, please press subscribe. And of course, if you want to have for you one Logbullet, please send me email or call me. You can find the contact information from the Logbullet's website, logbullet.com. So I hope you did like the video. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks and Bye.